discussing with you in the types of letter a kind of scenario when we will be writing with diagnosis right we have a scenario when we have the diagnosis given so we can simply write down thank you for seeing mr alex who signed symptom and investigation as a suggestion for amr for further management we can also write it down with with diagnosis in this way let's say thank you let's say in this way thank you for Sir, instead of so let's say we can also write down i am writing or i am referring mr let's say alex whose features are suggestive of amr this is also right referral letter when we have the assessment or diagnosis given right so we can write in this way i am referring mr alex who features suggestive of amr or thank you for seeing mr alex who signs symptom and investigation as suggestive of amr right these are two introduction can be written over here in this way is it clear to you the second types of referral when we don't have any diagnosis given without a diagnosis right we can have the symptoms only Let's, so when we have only the symptoms given if we have the symptoms given let's say if we can see there if we don't have the symptom but the situation we can also write down, write it down in this way From our medical knowledge that thing is being suspected to have something but as per the uh, provided case notes you are not supposed to write it down the uh, what we can say the diagnosis so we can just write it down in this case let's say i am writing to refer mr paul who presented we can simply write down who presented as well with let's say 5 days history of crushing chest pain let's say in case we can write for definitive diagnosis and further management so we can write down the introduction of a letter when we don't have the diagnosis given let's say i will show you the case notes so now in this case we don't have any you can say definitive diagnosis being given it was just the symptoms and we have written the symptoms only okay differential diagnosis you need have the differential diagnosis diagnosis we may have like two to three diagnoses being given for example we can suspect the condition to be any cardiac condition or let's say if you we can have let's say conditions in differentials depression or let's say bpad so these are few conditions that we have to see uh in case in this, this this can also be in this format let's say inflammatory bowel disease it could be crohn's or ulcerative colitis we have certain situations such as obstruction and diverticulitis or carcinoma right so these are few differentials diagnosis we can have or even we have maybe more than 5 to 6 dds so there are two choices to write it down uh the differential diagnosis the first choice is as you have written the letter with symptoms so we can write it down i am writing 
to refer Mr. X, Y, Z. Let's say who presented, yeah, who has, let's say if, uh, yeah, say who has three weeks history of chest pain and worsening of asthma. So, I would appreciate, sorry, if you could provide definitive diagnosis, right? It can also be done in this way, let's say, I am writing another letter to refer or thank you for seeing Mr. let's say John whose signs symptoms and investigations or who according to my differential diagnosis has AMI or either his symptoms are due to APO. So I would appreciate your further assessment uh, things that are not detailed but all the things are here so we can add it down thank you for seeing mr let's say paul whose features are suggestive of ami comma apo and worsening of as the mother that's it so letter now, a letter with diagnosis, letter without diagnosis with symptom and we also have discussed about the differentials, when we have the differential diagnosis, right? So in case of referral letter, when we have the diagnosis being given, okay, or without diagnosis, we have a symptom, we can write down symptom and differentials. We discuss one of the way how to write down the different DTs. But secondly, in case of differentials, we can also see, we can write down the symptoms uh, directly. Like if you can see, I'm writing to refer Mr. XYZ who has crushing chest pain. Let's say dyspnea and let's say <clears throat> you can just write on the main main symptom. for definitive diagnosis. So, we can write it down just the symptoms as well in the introduction, right? In the introduction, in the urgent referral letter, the only difference is that either you can just write it down or add the word urgently, okay, or in here. So, next type of letter is the letter of discharge. In a letter of discharge, the concept wise is kind of referral bag. Right? It's kind of referral bag that we are writing this letter to 
we are GP and we are writing this letter to the specialist. Kind of referral bag. So, in case of referral bag letter, uh, first of all, when sorry, when the specialist is writing this letter back to the GP, so GP already know most of the information like the past history. So, still you have to read it and make your mind that which information is not relevant or not. This is the one point. Okay. The second thing is in letter of discharge, as you can see in a conventional letter of discharge, let's say we can write down in the introduction. Regarding your patient, let's say I'm writing regarding your patient who underwent a successful right knee replacement, right? Or he would require your follow up. You are required your follow up, right? So we can see, we can write it down in this way. I'm writing regarding your patient who underwent a successful right knee replacement and he would therefore require your follow up, right? So in this case, we can write it down the introduction. In this way, right? I am writing regarding your patient. Wonder when a successful right knee replacement, he would therefore require your follow up. Okay? So, we can see that the letter of discharge can be written in this way. You can also write it down, let's say, any other letter of discharge. Let's say I am writing regarding your patient. Okay, who has who has responded well? Who has responded well to the treatment of let's say blah and blah for further follow up? Discuss. Now we are going to discuss about the bad agaram bad karing to we can also see the transfer letter. And a transfer letter is from you can say a lower setting to higher setting. Lower say higher me is a transfer letter. Let's say agar yapka uh from periphery to uh, cities transfer hai, where we have the transport involved. Yeah, let's say field say hum score transfer karein about the uh, to the city center to ye aapka periphery transfer hai, theek hai na? Iske saath agar hum baat karein to we have to see that aapka jo next part hai ke let's say uh, you know, like uh, from ward to emergency transfer or from back to ER to ward, departmental transfers. Maybe we have the one way transfer. If you can see there, if we are writing for one way transfer. We have to see that, let's say, uh, it could be GP to GP transfer. Let's say, old GP is handing over the case to new GP. It could be specialist to specialist transfer due to any reason, right? So, you can write it down. It could be, let's say, temporary transfer and so on. So, we can simply write down, let's say, in transfer letter, I am transferring Mr. XYZ if it's ambulance 
वैबलेंस वो वुड रिक्वायर से on urgent basis so we can write it down i am transferring mr x y z via ambulance who required ultrasound guided drainage of his liver abscess on urgent basis right so we have to see if we can write it down this information in this way i am transferring mr x y z via ambulance who required uh, ultrasound guided drainage of his liver abscess on his urgent basis it's a kind of transfer letter as well we can also have an example when gp is gp writing to gp so i can write it down i i am handing over mr let's say blash who is relocating to your area right I am handing over Mr. X Y Z, who is going to your area. <laughs> He, let's say, is currently having high blood sugar. For that, he was advised. Blah blah. Therefore, you are requested to continue blah blah medicine after registration of this patient to your general practice. Right. So we can write down. I am writing to handing. I am handing over Mr. X Y Z who is relocating to your area. he is currently having high blood sugar level sugar for that uh, for that he was advised blah blah medicine therefore you are requested to uh, we can say continue blah blah medicine after his registration into your general practice so this was the gp to gp transfer if we are transferring this patient as a specialist to specialist maybe the patient underwent some surgery and is post uh, uh, we can say he is recovering from the surgery however he has to relocate to to any reason so we can write it down this letter let's say i am writing regarding mr xyz who who has been recovering post operative to blah blah thing however due to his family and patient assistance they need your ongoing care and further assessment right Due to a post-operative surgery, like the surgeon was uh, monitoring the patient, however, due to any reason, he has to move on to the next area with that. Okay. So afterward, we can see uh, another type of letter of transfer when it's a uh, you can say temporary transfer any in a in a any facility. So we can write down. I am transferring this patient. to the let's say nursing home for temporary basis let's say your patient due to her daughter traveling he needs an accommodation 
space for the period of next 15 days let's say so we can write it down in the introduction for the empty transfer i'm transferring this patient to the nursing home for or to your nursing home you can also write down for temporary basis due to her daughter's travel uh, traveling he needs an accommodation space for the period of next 15 days he, uh, he would therefore require anyhow that will be the temporary transfer that we'll be writing we can also have a letter of request no no letter of request can be written to the allied professionals we have letter to a nurse we can write letter to the occupational therapist we can write this letter to a social worker and so on so let's say if we are adding this letter to the you can say social worker as the patient has right knee replacement surgery but the patient developed depression and now we are writing the social worker to help the patient resume normal life so what we can write it down it's a kind of discharge plus request letter but we can write it down over here in this letter so we can write it down i'm writing this letter regarding mr x y z okay who has developed depression during his post op stay in hospital i am writing this letter regarding mr x y z who had developed depression during his post op stay in hospital therefore he would require your social services you can also write it down in this way i'm writing to request your services i request you regarding the provision of your social services as mr xyz has developed depression during his post op stay in the hospital right so we can write it down in this way uh, the letter to the allied professionals we are requesting for something if you are writing this letter to a physiotherapist let's say so we can write it down i'm writing to request or we can also change let's say thank you for accepting mr xyz who needs yeah who would require your home visit to provide him physio sport let's say whatever the reason is in order to improve his or her mobility so you can see these are the few